We have recently published a new study, a new report on the opportunity for e-commerce in, in Africa. And for this study, we have interviewed uh, 1,500 MSMEs across uh, six markets in Africa. So it's a very extensive uh, study that really looks at the challenges as well as the opportunities to scale up e-commerce uh, solutions in, uh, in the region. So the study very well portrays some of these uh, challenges. So first and foremost, one of the main issues that comes up is access to finance. So MSMEs really mention in open-ended questions the need to uh, get more uh, and better as well financial, financial instruments. Um, E-commerce can be uh, a solution, particular, particularly when it comes to e-commerce platforms uh, that can provide end-to-end -end solutions to MSMEs. So um, this is really the value of uh, Amazon-like uh, type of solutions which onboard MSMEs and provide end-to-end -end not only access to markets but also access to delivery services and, and, and payments. Um, there is also an opportunity uh, for the postal network to contribute to this, um, uh, to the, to, to, to the to the delivery challenge in particular, uh, and in particular to reach out uh, customers and users and MSMEs in, uh, in, in rural areas. Um, then um, the other challenge that we're seeing uh, emerging is, uh, is certainly uh, the quality of mobile uh, infrastructure and uh, in particular the quality of the mobile internet. So mobile internet is widely available for MSMEs uh, across uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, but at GSMA we talk about the usage gap. So there are about uh, 600 plus million um, population who are covered by the mobile broadband, broadband network in uh, Sub-Saharan Africa but are, are not using it. So there is really an opportunity to uh, uh, leverage e-commerce solutions as a way, as a relevant service that obviously provides um, a, a solution, provides access to markets to MSMEs to really drive that usage. Because customers and MSMEs need relevant services and so certainly access to market, market linkages is, uh, is a relevant service, is a relevant uh, solution. And then of course um, other challenges that we are seeing are the um, availability of affordable um, phones, particularly smartphones, and, uh, and, and also the cost of mobile data. This is something that the industry and the government need to work on to really dr drive those prices down. Sometimes taxation is an issue uh, for affordable devices, affordable data services and this really can hinder uh, e-commerce e -commerce adoption by, by MSMEs. Um, another point that is really important to, to mention is that uh, if we look at e-commerce in Africa, uh, it is mostly experienced uh, by a social media platforms. So social commerce is, is, is dominant. 60% of all MSMEs we surveyed across the six African countries um, that we surveyed for this study um, experience or use um, e-commerce solely, purely on, uh, on social media. And this is very actually um, uh, informal. It's an informal use of social media platforms whereby an MSME uh, a micro entrepreneur, for example, might um, update on a daily basis their WhatsApp um, uh, um, page with information about the product that they're selling and then informally sells the, pro the product uh, through the platform and delivers the product or the product that gets picked up at the, buy at the seller's location. Um, so it's, it's, it's an entirely um, informal process. Also, most of the time, cash is, is used for payments. So this is really the, um, what we're, we're looking at in, in terms of e-commerce adoption in Africa. The use of social commerce is, is, is predominant. Um, we are seeing more and more MSMEs now also using uh, e-commerce platforms that can provide more of an end-to-end -end value proposition. Uh, but then, of course, uh, there is a cost associated to, to e-commerce platforms. So um, um, supporting more affordable mobile data services, enabling access to more affordable uh, phones can also support the adoption of uh, uh, e-commerce e solutions by MSMEs.